Hello folks. I'm just gonna hang out here. Nikki from Gracie's House coming to you for Redesign with Prima. I'm a brand ambassador in the UK and I can see people on Instagram. Hi guys, drop me a little um, hello. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm just gonna wait for a little while longer, hopefully just a few seconds. Hi guys on Instagram, loads of people popping on and I'm just waiting for an eyeball to pop up on Facebook as well and there it is. Hello, hello my lovely redesigners. So I don't know, um, we've had this transfer for a while. Hi Monica. And um, it disappeared, it kind of stopped, it, got, it went, um, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say, I got retired, that's the nicest thing to say. Hi Marcy from Boston. Yes, it was retired. Morning, morning. So, and then it got brought back. Hi Roz, Roz is here for Redesign with Prima for me. So if there's any questions I miss, she can help us out. Um, I've got my paper cards watching from Dominican Republic, fantastic. So yeah, it's back and it's been back for a while, but you, do you know what? I think, I don't think anyone realized. So I'm gonna be working with this one today. Hi Tonya, hello my lovelies. Um, Imyas, Imyas from Port Orchard, lovely. Italy, India, cool, we've got some, a, a real cross section today, lovely. So this piece was black. Hello from Portugal, hi there. Um, so this, uh, th this range is quite kind of affordable in the UK. It's pressed, kind of MDF pressed board wood. Tanya, you've sprinkled, lovely. Um, so now, if you've looked in the group for inspiration on French ceramics, there is lots of French ceramics projects. Um, watching from Cambridgeshire, hi Jane, lovely. Thank you, first time, excellent. And it looks absolutely beautiful on white. Very, very similarly to the artwork that's on the tube. But I wanted to show you something different. That's not to say I've not done it on white, but there is a lot of white projects. So I was racking my brains to what would work and I landed on gold metallics. How cute is this now? So it was solid black, pretty matte, not very shiny. Now look at it sort of shimmering and sheening. So just to let you know, I use paint for paint and this is pale gold is the slightly darker one and champagne. So that's the two metallics that I've used on this project. And I kind of dappled them on to give it a, a bit of a hammered sort of finish. Hi Tracy. So I did a little shelf at the bottom. Can you see? I'm gonna just scoot you in a little bit so you can see that. And also I thought it'd be a bit awkward to try and do that shelf live. But we're going to pop it in this panel and on the side panel and a big chunk on the top. What do you think? But I just wanted to kind of test it and see if it really was going to look as nice, I know, Roz, on the gold, it just gives it something a little bit different. I love it on the white. It's very, very classic, but we've, we've seen it now. So um, I've got a couple of tiny little scraps from my last project, but I don't know if we're going to use those. So I'm just going to pop them on the floor. Um, little tip. We always give tips, and I've probably given this one recently before. But if you get your transfer out of the tube and it's all curly like this, it's really tricky to try and lay it flat. This is a really, really simple trick. If you've got time, just leave it, leave it if you can flat um, and kind of go away and come back again. Yeah, it does, it does work really well on the right, but yeah, I just, I'm really, um, yeah, it kind of gives the, 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 the white details, like you said. Just roll it backwards, roll it onto itself. Kind of use the heat from your hands just to, and then it will just be a bit easier to handle. So can you see it's not curling up now, like it was before? So it's just a really, really simple tip, but it will go, it will go a long way to helping you out. So we're going to use these panels and I'm not sure that bit's quite big enough. No, it's not. So let me see what we have. I just need to calculate what I've got on the top. Maybe I should do the top first. And then what I'm going to have left and which bit this joins to. So I use the, this comes in three sheets and I use the rest of this third piece on that bottom shelf. 
So I just want to make sure that I've got the right bits that line up with the right bits. So that goes to there. That goes to there. And then where does this one join? Where does this one join to? It's not that end. So is it going there? Nope. Let's have a little look. It's not there either. Where did I get this bit from? So that's definitely oh no it's not that's not there see it's always worth double checking your where you line up to before cutting no that bit doesn't go there either and that bit doesn't go there okay i'm confused now it, admittedly doesn't take a great deal right okay that goes there and that goes there. Fine. So, in that case, does that bit go there? Right. Okay. I think we have a plan. I think, I think. I'm trying to move my stool round so that I don't fall off of it. Clumsy. So, that bit goes to there. I'm going to use... I'm just laying it on the floor, just for a second, while I try and use my brain. It's not working great, admittedly. So I'm going to use this piece. So I'm going to be cutting from that bottom section, because it's a little bit taller, and I'm going to use up and up. We're going to fit it into that piece there. That makes sense. Hi, Patricia, how are you? So I'm just going to be cutting Roz, I'm measuring live. I live. I've not pre-cut these, have you noticed? I think Roz teases me because I quite often will have my everything planned. <laughs> it's not cheating, honest. So I'm going to cut that bottom edge. I've cut, I've cut that piece off and I'm going to cut that bottom edge and then that will give me my corner. So I can then measure and cut into that into that um, inset panel. So I'm just going to cut along there. That's enough. Which gives me my my corner. Now I'm going to use my plastic tool. Laughed out loud. <laughs> Cutting live. <laughs> And I'm gonna, there's nothing, there's not really a trick to this. You can measure, um, but I'm going to use that and just push that right into that crease. You don't have to press too hard. And just then that will give me a line. And I'm going to do the same on this edge here, if I can. There we go. And I find that the transfer tool works a bit easier to do this simply because it's got a bit more, um, it's a thinner edge. Good morning, Francie, hello. You can get it from the redesign page. That is odd. That is odd. Sorry about that. So where did you find us in the end? Are you on, where are you? <laughs> Where's my line? So I'm just using that measure just to cut along. But yeah, I tend, if I'm pushing into the creases, I tend to use the transfer tool rather than, the, sorry, the plastic transfer tool rather than the, um, the wooden one, just because it's got a bit of a sharper point on it. So, and then, you know, we can, we can finesse it a little bit once we're here. So I'm just going to shave a little bit more off of there. But you kind of want to, you want to get yourself like a bit more of a workable sized piece. You saw Roz, ah ha ha, I see. She managed to share. Excellent. So, um, this is, I actually, I have to say, this is one of my favourites for them to bring back. And um, it's, just a, it's just a shame, I think, that not many... I don't know if people haven't realised it's come back, because it's been back a while. So I'm just removing that back sheet, popping that in, 
placing it and you'll find if you use a metallic finished paint um, it's a little like if you've ever if you've ever put a transfer onto glass you sometimes when you've got a painted finish you've got a little bit of wiggle room so as long as you don't press it down you kind of might be able to pick it up and, and reposition if you get it slightly wrong when you're using glass like once it's on that's it you, you've got you're in you've got to you've got to get it right and it's it's very similar with these metallic paints so there's obviously some kind of sheen in it um it really grips it so you kind of need to make sure that you're right first time with your placement once you've taken that back sheet off so it looks how cute does this look against the gold guys I've got to try and get my fingers in to try and hook some of the top sheet on because I've cut it so well into the gap I actually have nothing to get hold of so I'm not sure how I'm going to manage that just yet Now again, ordinarily, I would recommend um, that you lay your piece down and you transfer, but because I'm doing the top and I'm doing the sides, I've just got it up this way, but you will find it easier to put the pressure on that you need if you've got your piece laying flat. So let's see if we can just hook. I'm just going to try and hook a piece of the top sheet out with my craft knife so that I can start lifting the top sheet off. There we go. That's right. I didn't quite stab myself there. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Lovely. So there's lots of little bits of text on this one that you need to just be mindful of as you're um, like burnishing and then once you're, once you're lifting your top sheet because it's easy to miss bits. There we go. So there's a tiny little bit there that you probably can't even see. It's tiny. And you could miss it if you really wanted to. But I kind of like all of the little, there's so much different text and it's all going in different, direction, different directions. So there's some handwritten scripty bits here. There's some capitals, there's like signatures. There's all sorts of things. There's printed bits. It's a bit like those of you like, the, if you like lovely ledger, there's a lot of text going on here um, that, that looks similar. And didn't um, Vilma used it on her project? She mixed it with Paris Valley last week, and again, that's that that just that black text looks really really cute. on a metallic background. I swear it's noisier. familiar with the way the way the adhesive it's a cute little table isn't it yeah I think I missed a comment then sorry folks let me just it would look beautiful on silver whoever's comment that was I'm not going to keep scrolling back I'm going to crack on but yeah I think it would look really nice on silver too agreed um 
What was I saying? I was saying yes. As you as you kind of work with transfers, you will get familiar with um, seeing like when your when your transfers released, you'll see a difference in the kind of translucency of the um, the name of this transfer is French ceramics. You'll see a translucency change the adhesive part of the stencil of the transfer <laughs> as it releases. That's two text ones in a row. Didn't I use text last week? on those drawer sides and the texty bits took a while. I'm just going to sit down again I can't see up under that lip. And you can see that I work at it all at different angles. So I don't just kind of work all the way across my sheet. I kind of work around in angles um, from each from each side. And because I don't want to get to, the, to an edge and then I've had it happen and this is why I don't do it. Um, do you know what? On Facebook, because we have to go landscape, if I miss a comment, they're gone so quick. So I know I've just seen something and I couldn't, I couldn't read all of it. Um, but yeah, I've had it happen to me where I, I was working across a sheet and as I got to the end, the last bit wasn't quite stuck down and it folded in on itself when I lifted the top sheet off. So I'm really quite cautious when I get to edges now because I don't like it when that happened. <laughs> I, did, I did not like that. the wood has got like a little bit more give than the plastic. I've always got both tools on hand when I do a transfer. Okay. And I don't know why it should or does make a difference. Sometimes it doesn't. You have your tool using it. Love. Yes, it does. The tools are great. I mean, I've missed a bit there. I've missed a bit over there. It's still not sticking. There we go. Um, the tool that comes in all of the transfer tubes, the stick, is great. But I do use the plastic transfer tool for a lot more than just the transferring. It's great if you're using like decoupage paper, you can smooth it out with that if you've got any creases. Um, as I said, as I showed you, I kind of use it to mark out if I've got an inset panel or something like this one. So it is quite a handy little tool. shines and catches the light as we spin it round. How cute is that? I'm loving it on the gold. It sort of gives it an, a slightly maybe oriental feel, do you think? I think it's got something like that. I think it has. Okay. So now I'm just checking how, again, I'm going to go back to my, um, my top because I want to make sure that I've got enough for my top. 
and I'm a little bit worried that I might not have left myself enough. So I'm gonna uh, 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 just remind myself which bit matched up to which bit because it's not that. No, it's not that. That bit matches that bit. I'm going to turn it back, well, just while I'm working this out, let me turn it round so you can see how pretty. Right. Okay, we're going to have to do a cup, some clever little trickery on the top, I think. I think we can, I think we can manage it. That isn't enough. It's not going to be wide enough that piece. Not quite. I wonder if I can. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can just use this piece and then fill in some gaps. I think I'm going to do that. I think I need that whole other piece available for my top without ruining it <clears throat> not ruining it but you know without having to fluff it a little bit so i'm going to try and get this in here and then i've got like i said i've got a bit of scrappage from another one and i think we can fill in some gaps perhaps perhaps let's get the top and the bottom cut off and we can see what's the best plan of action. Probably that side actually. It's going to be easier to match up. There it is. I'm going to use that, same as we did over there, to just push down into that bottom. Make sure it's in straight. There we go. So can you see, just by using that tool, that it's given me a crease? Can you see that enough? Yeah. So we'll just trim that bit off. in case we need that for something as well and like I said I think if I because that's quite an obvious rose whereas over here I think I can kind of fudge it with with some of the extras that we've got so we'll just do that we're doing good for time make sure like I said the, the, the text on this actually does go in all different directions so You could kind of, you'd get away with going up, you know, if you got it upside down by mistake, this is one of those that you'd probably get away with. So, <laughs> thanks Deb. You like my colour choices. The gold is cute on this. I think it gives these, this bedside like a real sort of luxe feel. It's got it's got quite a luxurious kind of feel to it, definitely. So I'm going all over the whole piece first. And then as we start to lift the top sheet, I'll just kind of work harder in those areas. Um, should we start? Should we do the same as I did on the other side? Excuse me. Let's just hook that. Try and hook that up. No, nope, it's not going to do it. No, nope. we'll start over here. <laughs> We're going to start this side. Okay. 
gone quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, folks. I was really quiet then for a minute. Let's switch over to this side. bit it's not really smooth in that top corner so I'm just trying to make sure that it it's releasing without pulling those yeah got it got it so yeah we've got some kind of you know those botanical magazine type fonts and text and print? We've got some of that here. way down down round wherever you started however you however you find it most um however you find it works best for you as i said i'll tend to kind of then now work round and so i'm almost leaving this something in the middle Oh, Deb, how's the movie star doing? She, do you know what? She's doing really well. She didn't get... She got down to the final two for last week's audition. So we are super, super proud of her. But she's just at that age where once she hits nine, they can have her for longer on set and the girl that they picked was a bit older than Gracie, so we think that's probably what it boiled down to in the end. Oh, which is a shame. But of course, it means something better will come along. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> contact right down into that corner because um, again if you go to pull your top sheet and it doesn't sit uh, you know and it's not and it's not quite adhered then you run the risk of that lifting and folding back on itself which is always what we want to avoid Francie it was a really hardcore audition this last one um, like for an eight-year-old so yeah Brilliant experience for her. And you know what? She takes it better than Dad. Daddy is... Daddy like paces and huffs around the house for a couple of days. Gracie just said, oh, well, that's okay, because it means I still get to see all my friends every day like normal. So she... She's great. <laughs> working on those little bits of text, always take the time, the little bits of text. Oh, 
swap again. That, that'll be the tube knocked over. Oops. I can see lots of hellos coming up on Instagram, so hello to everyone that said hello. <laughs> I'm not quick enough to catch all the names. But thanks for watching and joining in. polishing pads which are awesome so I just recommend running over with your polishing pad because not only will it burnish and reduce those halos down um, but it gives you a really really nice smooth finish ready for your top coat, top coat but it really goes a long way to reducing those halos down and that's you know that's kind of everyone's bugbear it, they're not really very visible on this gold they're not as visible on a lighter finish so if you've got a darker one i think these come in a two, pack of two they're really really good um i would recommend if you're using them anything whenever you burnish go from kind of the inside of a big piece go to the outside so you're pushing away from the edge of those adhesive parts tiny little bubble I can hear there so if you get an air bubble get yourself a pin or your craft knife or whatever you're using scissors probably wouldn't be sharp enough and just pop a dot and then push it down try not to drag it in case it's not stuck down and you put a hole in your transfer but that's it that was a tiny one like that was less than five mil across those whole two pieces so there we go um how are we doing for time how have i got i've got okay let's try and patch this this corner section up where um what have we got what have we got so i've got a flower like that which i can add in perhaps i think i can probably fill that gap there So it's, it's not quite the right um, size, but it'll, it'll be close enough. I'll move it down a bit, perhaps that'll work better. It'll be close enough to, I think, to, to fool people. Let's see. We've got only got a tiny gap there, haven't we? I think we'll get away with it. So we can just use these little scraps to kind of make um, right hang on i can hear background noise let me just can you have the conversation further away oh sorry can you hear me yeah sure. <laughs> i'm not sure if the camera picked that up or not <laughs> Just, um, I'm just going to get another piece of top sheet. So here's another little trick. If, you, if you've done a piece but you're having to do a, a patch or a seam and you don't want to damage what you've already transferred, you don't want to damage your paintwork, but you need to kind of give it a rub on that seam, then use another piece of discarded top sheet and, um, and you won't damage anything. Trying not to hide what I'm doing. 
There we go. Okay. So we've kind of filled that little piece in. Um, let's just have a little look and see what else I've got. I might be able to use it off of some of the other bits that we're working with. So I'm going to do that piece because I've got some of those little flowers here, which I can fit in here. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? That's a bit bigger. Isn't it? No, they're too big. Right, let's see what we've got left after doing the top. That's the best thing. Let's see what the tiny little scraps are. So I'm just going to move it down and I'll be moving the camera down for you as well. Let's go here. Okay. A little drink. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. And again, I'm just checking um, to make sure that I've got the right bit because I keep getting this wrong, don't I? That way around. See, I was going to get it wrong again. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this back. I need to move you down. Facebook, you can't see. There we go. I'm going to cut that back uh, seam, the back join line so that I can work on straight up to the back of there. And what we can see is, because we actually don't need to go all the way up to that front line if we don't want to, what we can do is just kind of add, we can finish here and cut through perhaps. I quite want it all over. Ooh. What to do, what to do. Okay. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to use my transfer tool to follow the line because this has got, you see this has got quite a, a shapely edge. So I'm going to use my tool to follow that crease. And then I can cut just slightly inside that line to give me the top edge. Does that make sense? I'm using this to, to give me the crease, but I'm actually wanting the top edge. And we'll go over this side as well. So we're doing the same on both sides, just using that to push into that dip we've got there. Like I said, on the insets, we can always kind of finesse that once we've got those bits out of the way for us. Line, and then I can take it in a little bit more afterwards. That's pretty good actually. Yeah, we'll go a little bit, a little bit closer in to give us our, our real natural edge. But the shape's really good. So what does everyone think? Do you think we should have just a little bit of this or should we just put the whole, should we cover the whole of the top? What do you think? Let's see if we've got any answers. What shall we do? So should we add that little slither on? I think we should probably add that little slither on. I'm going to answer my own question. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, and I want to make sure, like I said, obviously you've got to still transfer it on, but it's very, it kind of sticks really quickly on these metallic finishes. That's going to look so cool. Tool. 
And you see, because I'm now, um, although I'm not using much force, it's a lot easier to transfer when you're kind of putting the pressure down as opposed to trying to put something on its side. You can just give it a bit more welly. So noisy up this way either, does it? <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> so, what's everyone thinking about French ceramics over gold? And obviously, I've got these two different tones of gold. I think you see, I've, I created like a darker vignette around. I love a vignette um, to give it some sort of shading that wasn't black, but gave gave that shading impression. And using the two together gave it a bit more of a vintage feel I felt as well, which is kind of more of what I was going for. text in this section as well um, but like Ros was saying it's really it makes the, the kind of aging and the creasing that's through these roses you see there's like white sections to make it look like it's aged and they kind of show up more because it's not on a white background which is quite nice white with I think Ros didn't you do I'm sure you did a project and yours had gold you were white background but then you did gold extra touches didn't you and that looks really pretty as well To the the top sheet and then just score along I don't think that's gonna work I think the transfer is coming off and going on the edge yeah it is so I'll just have to scrape that off a little bit later that's not done what I wanted it to do so just where I didn't cut quite sharp enough on that edge there's just a bit of overlap but we can we can um, I can get rid of that See, I won't burnish that down and then I can just sort of lightly sand that back up if I need to.
Mercury. I mean, goodness. I'm even going to go as far as to say that our weather has been spring-like the last couple of days. I think it's lulling us into a false sense of early spring. I had my workshop doors open yesterday. I mean, crazy. different directions and different angles as I'm lifting my top sheet so that I don't run the risk of anything folding back on itself. That's the idea anyway. Oh, it's so noisy. that's our join edge and we, we don't need that. We don't need all that space. Getting in the way. And let's see. Oh, look at that. I've got a corner missing. I had a feeling that might happen. But that's okay because we've got scraps. Remember? We only have to cover that bit there. <laughs> so this is how to make the most of your transfer. When you're trying to, you know, you get to the end, towards the end of a project, ideally you'd start with the top. That's your main focus, of course. But uh, I like to, you know, make things difficult for myself, of course. So we're going to do bit by bit. We're going to get get us to the line up, lining it up, and to the edges that we need, to the shape that we need. Oops, I've got to try and work and hold it and remember the shape of the edge. And you see we've got all that left. Apart from the bit that I need. So I'm just following my um, line that we've just scored into with the transfer tool. Back to one side. Okay, I'm just going to cut within that again. We're just sort of finessing, like I said, the the area that we're working with. And there we go. Lovely. I'm just going to see if I've got anything 
I think I've got a bit that's gonna that's gonna work in that corner. I'm sure I've got a scrap somewhere that's gonna do the trick there. Yeah, I've got some leaves. Yes, look at that. Ooh, a bug. Make sure I'm lining it up with all the way along. And that looks good to me. Press that down. It's just, just gonna cut a bit more off that edge. I forgot that edge, there we go. Perfect. And we're nearly done, I promise. So I'm just quite careful along that front edge because I don't want, whichever tool you're using, I don't want to scrape any of my paint finish off. It's quite tough paint to chore, but you know, you just, you just want to be a bit mindful that those edges need a little bit more care. top sheet is not wanting to release there we go it's going that way so we're just going to take that little piece off there as well that's better that's not getting in my way now those lucky people that get nice flat pieces of furniture all the time. I very rarely seem to get those pieces. <laughs> I've always got to do some sort of trickery somewhere. So today we've worked with we've worked with inset panels, we've worked with a funny shaped top, we're having to patch a little bit here. So let's just see how we can. These leaves are definitely going to work because we've got some of those leaves elsewhere. So I think that's going to look okay. with that so I'm going to pop that like there to patch that and then we've just got to have a little bit of rose you see and you can kind of build it up like that because there's layers and all sorts of things on here anyway so um, it just becomes you know an extra layer that you're adding in and you just sort of want to disguise it really Admittedly, not all designs will allow you to do that, but this one um, is quite is quite cool like that because of the because of all the different elements that are in there. Okay, so that's a bit of leaf, and then let's just see what rows we need. Nope. Do you know what? I think that might go away with it. Maybe. Let's see what else we've got. What have we got? What else have we got? Nothing on the floor. It's just this piece. Oh, what's this? 
That'll do it. That will make it. We can make that work. So I'm going to use that piece and I'm going to just cut a section like that. And then again, we're just going to finesse it down to work in that space. I think it just about works. What do you think? I think we can, I think we can hide it enough there. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, something better. Maybe that will work better actually. I'm trying to make it match the, you know, the roses that we've got in here. Um, a little, whoopsie, a little bit better anyway. Let's just see. No. if I use a different type of flower and just make it look like it's a layer rather that's better there we go sometimes you just have a little think about it so we're just going to add a different flower and make it look like it's layered over the top perfect you wouldn't know if you weren't looking for it sorry I had to have a little bit of thinking going on there There. Sorry, I've missed a comment. I think someone was trying to trying to suggest something. But... There we go. That I think is as good as I was going to get without having the exact same match. So what do you think, guys? Cute. Um. Yeah. Sorry, Roz, I think you suggested something for me and um, I couldn't see it. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my polishing pad just to rub those bits down. Make sure we've got a couple of little air bubbles there, so just do the air bubble trick. Pop a little dot into them. You can push down with your, with your polishing pad, actually. Just push down. Get those edges, get everything burnished down nicely. You can hear a little one over there. There we go. Cool, so I hope you've um, enjoyed seeing French ceramics on a little bit of a different colour base than we're maybe used to seeing. Give you a bit of inspiration to try something different. Um, we've covered kind of patching up and, you know, we've, we've made things have to fill gaps. We've had to patch up and work with what we've got. But it's a cute, I'm not sure what to do with the handles yet. They're not staying black, I can tell you that much. But I hope you've enjoyed it today. So we've used French ceramics. It's been back a while, but I don't think anyone's quite realised. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, drop some love over on um, Gracie's house page. That would be awesome. Um, Instagram, that's Gracie's underscore house UK um, for more projects. And I will see you this time again next week. If you do happen to watch on replay, if you could drop a hashtag replay in comments, that would be awesome too. Thanks, guys. Bye.